All right, let's see what messages do we have for you, Aquarius. someone is missing you they're not in a good situation right now i feel like there's someone from the past that wants you back they could be october born this person is going through a rough phase in their life maybe they chose someone else over you and now they're regretting it now they're going through series of pain drama emotional turmoil ups and downs whereas aquarius you are definitely jumping the ladder you're becoming more and more successful. I'm seeing a lot of money coming in. I'm seeing a lot of happiness. I'm seeing a lot of love coming to you. Some of you may have found new love into your life and you're ready to pursue that new person. Everything is coming towards you in such a positive manner that sometimes you are getting overwhelmed and you're not able to give one thing, uh, you know, attention at a time. Everything is just getting messed up. Someone wants to mend things with you. I feel they want to apologize. And now you're worrying about uh, the outcome. Now you're, you're thinking, what should I do? You're confused now. Because this person came into your life. And now this is making you worried. You have no idea what to do. Because you may already be having other options. And then there's someone from the past begging for you. That you once really cared about. Aquarius and now you're confused like what should I do this person came in and caused that confusion yes you're confused you do miss the times you guys have spent together Aquarius but you still want to move on I feel you had feelings for this person. You still have feelings for this person. And you know that they understand you more than anybody else. But is it worth it to rewrite the story with this person again? Or decide to move on? There is, at one place, there is your self-respect. And then there is this person you have feelings for. This is confusing you so much. You're wondering, what should I do now? Because you're moving towards major success. A lot of like growth is coming into your life. All right. They're telling you that the one that they're with right now is treating them really badly. And they have realized what they've lost. And they want you back. This could be another Aquarius coming in. Now you're confused. Because you have other options coming towards you as well. You want to focus on your money. You want to focus on your job. Somewhere your attention is shifted. Even though you have, you know, feelings for this person, but you're in this energy right now where you are in a growing situation. You're growing. You're becoming more prosperous with time. So should you get this chance to this person? Should you stop? And give them a chance. That's what you're thinking. To be honest, it's time for you to move on, Aquarius, because there's a lot of growth coming in. You might be doing some work where a lot of people are getting benefited from your services. And they're appreciating you. Maybe you do a lot of charity. You may be a counselor. You may be a head. You may be at a leader position. You're dealing with a, a huge team. You're handling a huge team. You're taking care of a lot of things. So a lot has changed in your life. And I feel like you don't want to go back. Because it makes you angry. It makes you worried. That you will lose your focus. And you will lose your work. For this person. Emotionally unstable person. Yeah, there's a strong energy of this person being emotionally unstable. 
so they may put you in that situation as well so you don't want to have that kind of experience again Aquarius, I'm sensing that this person was cheating on you or they were not ready to settle down because they had other options. They were dating other options and you couldn't wait. So you had to move on. And this still makes you angry that this person was keeping you like an option and not giving you special attention. This still hurts you. You're working really hard. I'm also seeing you're doing intense workout on yourself you look great you look great but there's a lot that's going on like money and then you might be learning something new to add to your skills and then you're also improving on your body on your skin on your hair so there's a lot that you're doing okay Truly, I feel even if they want you back, you think that they will go back to the same old them. They might start taking you for granted, cheating behind your back. I'm seeing the energy of cheating here. Feel this person was cheating on you or they kept you on a wait in a queue. Thinking that you'll never realize that this person is talking to other people. They still talk to other people, to be honest. But their heart, their emotion is with you. This could be a Cancer or a Leo. You've decided to listen to your intuition and move on. I feel you're still talking to this person, but you're not giving them special attention like before. They want you to accept them as just the way they are. And they want a relationship, to be honest. Are you going to be happy? That's the question here. I'm not seeing that. I'm seeing you will be in constant... Uh, back and forth energy, constant trouble, always insecure, this person cheating on you. And you're always thinking about this person. So this is not a healthy connection that you should give another shot to. This person wants another shot, but it's not worth it. It's time for you to make a decision, close the door and start a new chapter in your life. I feel that is what you've already decided. Some of you, this is a Libra. They are trying their best to have you in their life, but you're going to close the chapter. There will be a big fight between the two of you, I'm sensing. You're going to say certain things that will make them angry, but that is true. Bitter truth hurts. That's what going to happen. I feel you're finally going to close the door on this person. That might make them extremely furious. You're walking away and they're chasing you. So this person's not going to let leave you. I feel they're going to chase you. I don't know. I feel like they think you're their jackpot. Maybe that's why they're chasing you like anything. Yes, for them, you are a jackpot. So I'm not seeing this as healthy. It's time for you to pay attention to your finances because you're going to do something major when it comes to your money. You're going to expand in your work, in your workplace. Your work is being heavily appreciated. You might exhibit your work. Your talent will be appreciated, discovered. You may get a recognition that you're looking for. It's time for you to stop sharing secrets. It's time for you to show who you are. I'm also seeing you making good money. Maybe through a side hustle or maybe through the main hustle, but you're making money. And investing the same. The sun. So there is a new beginning definitely in your life. Okay. Someone new is coming into your life with a lot of love. Give it like three weeks to three months time. I'm not seeing this happening right off the bat, but I'm seeing this happening. It's all in the queue. It's happening. It's right around you. This person is someone that will be extremely talkative, very loving and kind, special. They will treat you as one. I feel them coming into your life will change the whole situation. For this 2023, you guys will go through certain ups and downs, misunderstandings, trying to get to know each other, just getting to know each other, being a friend. But in 2024, this is going to evolve into a massive turnaround. I'm seeing you guys may get married. You guys may instantly announce your marriage to everybody. We'll get into a shock. But I'm seeing this connection is life changing for both of you. You guys will make a family out of this connection. Three of swords. 
I feel your person is someone that has been heartbroken by someone in the past. So they have trust issues and that is why there will be ups and downs between the two of you for a good two months after meeting. But in the end of the day, there is success here. Your person is going through emotional turmoil and having sleepless nights. They may be very good in poetry, writing. They might be an author or they are too emotional psychologically. Like they are a philosopher or they could be into law. And they like equal give and take, fairness, justice, which you are the one that brings in their life. And that is why I feel your person is someone that the one that you will be meeting is a diehard loyal person, diehard lover. And they have been badly manipulated by their lover in the past. And that has caused them extreme disappointment in themselves. And you're the one that's going to fix this person naturally. So I'm definitely sensing the past person that you're trying to get rid of is not helping you heal at all. This person always keeps coming back and affect your healing. You're in this energy of healing, but they, the past person, they say certain things. They make you, you know, uh, feel blamed. They try to bring the past situations back into life and that hurts you every time they do this because they're insecure. They're not very comfortable, stable. They're fearful of a lot of things. Because of which you're focusing all your energy towards new beginnings and your personal healing. You are completely letting go of this tower person in your life. Aquarius, please. Yes. Your timing wasn't right to fall in love, to be with someone or to expect something in return. Or this person is telling you that maybe they are at fault and now they want you. Now they want to be more than what they what it is. For some of you, this new person, if you're completely single and there's no one you're dealing with, this new person is coming into your life, but it might start off with friendship slowly. But in 2024, this is going to turn into something serious. Aquarius, please. See... It is possible that a friend of yours is going to be your final, you know, person, like your lover. High honor. I'm also sensing you're in such a workplace where you're expected to be respected and you have a reputation of your own. You have an image that you need to maintain. But if you get involved into all these things, it might affect your career. So if this person is someone from your workplace, you're being very, very careful about it. <clears throat> Someone is 38, 52, 25, 51. And then you're having forgiveness. Yes, the past person is not able to focus on their work. They miss you. They think about you because they're going through hell. Their person does not treat them right. Or they have multiple other partners, but it's just to satisfy their current needs. And you're the one that gives them emotional happiness. But I would suggest this is not the one for you. They're so messed up in their life. It's time for you to let go, move on. It's time for you to get to know someone new. And this new person that's coming into your life next is most probably the one. They could be from a different religion, background. They could be divorced. So you have to keep an open mind while you're dating with this person because you never know how this person is going to be. Okay? What else? Aquarius, please. I'm hearing time to shine. It's time to shine. Something big is about to happen in your career. Sensing. Unfinished symphony. Yes, the person is not able to get over you. The past person. There has not been a proper closure. And I feel this time you're going to make it uh, done forever. Like they are coming back with a new beginning. Expecting you to take them back. But no, you're going to close the chapter this time when they come towards you. So this will give both of you a sense of satisfaction somewhere. You're becoming very strong and powerful in your decision-making skills. You're not allowing second chances once you know that the future does not hold anything for you guys. Some of you are 50s. Some of you, I'm seeing you're ready to accept the change. You're becoming more flexible to changes in your life. Adjusting to changes in, the, in your life. Okay, then we have, it's not only about being right. And then, if they loved you once, they still do. I feel the love is definitely there from the past person, but they are too messed up in their life. They don't know what exactly they want, I'm sensing. 
but sometimes I feel if things have sorted, doesn't mean this is the one for you. It's time for you to still move on from this person. Any advice for my queries from the angels, spirit guides? Yes, you might be too busy and may feel burned out. It's time for you to give yourself some time and attention and do some things that make you happy. So take a break from your routine, like you're too uh, caught up with your work. I'm seeing. Setting a proper schedule is also very important over here. Spend time with your family. Some of you are uh, craving a happy family for yourself. That is happening real soon. But it's more like spending time with your loved ones. Okay. Now, what are the signs that you will be dealing with? That is cancer. That is Gemini. That is Libra. Okay. These three signs. Sun, moon, rising or Venus. Now, let's do the charms. patience your person is coming slowly but surely it's time for you to block someone from the past is still crying over you maybe this is a gemini i'm seeing a lot of fame coming into you aquarius i'm seeing a person that's coming towards you is a fire sign or a gemini but traveling is going to be extremely refreshing for you guys some of you into military uh filming uh cinematographer or a teacher or a sports person fitness trainer or something someone is a wet here someone is into navy army stuff someone is into diagnostics and paramedical sciences lab technology cd scan someone could be a nurse Someone could be from Russia. I feel like someone is in crypto as well. Cryptocurrencies, taxation, police, major, mayor. Okay. Someone's name is Carl, Caroline. Something with Mill, Mill, Nelson. Millie, something like that. Someone's from Melbourne, Vietnam, Thailand, Canada, Russia. Someone's name is Rebecca, Rihanna, Lena, Ria, Tim, uh, Nathan, Tina. Something like Troy, Trey, Tree, True, Lisa, Carl, Kel, Mel, Mike, Rene, something with Reeve, Reva, something like that. Nelly, Nick, Terry, uh, someone is in astrological science, uh, like some of you are very fond of that, Rick, Rachel, Caroline, um, Bennett, Call it something like that. So these are some names that I could make out. I can't make out all these names. Rest of it, you can make it out. Or you could be different name as well. Or you could be these initials. Someone from Taiwan. Tia. The name. You're going to die the not real soon. Marilyn. Mary, 
So there are a number of names, you know. So these could be the initials, right? Someone's from California. Canix. Uh, someone is a trans watching this. Yeah, you can make out yourself. Someone is in politics. So now let's see from Aries to Pisces, what does your person think and feel for you? Someone says Nalini, that's an Indian name. Vanessa. Aries is coming towards you with a love offer. Taurus is right now making plans to meet you and talk to you, spend time, whole day talking to you. The Gemini wanting to make efforts towards you. The Cancer is uh, wanting to live with you, spend the life with you. The Leo person is a little shy about things, a little hesitant. Virgo is still going on through past stress, troubles in their life. Libra wants to take it forward and see how things grow. <clears throat> Scorpio is in two minds right now. Uh, Sagittarius <clears throat> is coming towards you with passion and chasing you. Capricorn is in love. Aquarius has a huge crush. Pisces is ending this, moving on. They have had a sudden breakdown in their life, in their career. Something has happened. So that's about it, Aquarius. I hope you've enjoyed this read. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. I come back for more readings. Stay tuned. Bye.